when you think about the cell, you often envision a well-oiled machine where components have evolved over millions of years to work in perfect harmony. In reality, many essential biological functions are at the heart of ongoing negotiations between components that have opposite evolutionary interests. These conflicts arise at various biological scales, sometimes between genes, between chromosomes, and even between parents. Once they initiate, they drive cycles of functional adaptation that accelerate evolution in the form of molecular evolutionary arms races. In addition to driving molecular and genetic innovations, these evolutionary negotiations can have profound consequences on the outcome of reproduction between individuals at the scale of populations and ultimately species. Our research program uses comparative approaches to identify the genes that carry the evolutionary signatures of these ongoing conflicts. We then go in the lab to identify the biological functions that are shaped by these factors. Essentially, we study natural selection in action. This allows us to discover novel functional domains and interactions that are missed by traditional approaches focusing on evolutionary conservation. Our group focuses on pathways that regulate access to genetic information in mammals, namely chromatin factors and histone proteins that organize the DNA in our cells. Because these factors are essential for the inheritance of genetic information, they often are the target of these evolutionary conflicts during reproduction. This is the biological context for most of our studies. In addition, we find that many chromatin factors subject to evolutionary arms races in reproductive cells, when expressed outside of their natural context, contribute to diseases such as human cancer. One important step in our work is to use phylogenetics to detect signature of genetic conflict on the genome. For this, we take advantage of flash sequencing efforts spanning hundreds of species across the tree of life. Then we go in the lab to test the functional consequences of these evolutionary transitions. To tackle these questions, our group uses both in vitro cell sculpture and in vivo mouse models. We combine traditional genetics and developmental biology approaches with state-of-the-art single-cell and epigenome profiling methods. Overall, our work contributes to understanding the evolution of fundamental epigenetic mechanisms and, importantly, how they work during normal reproduction and what happens when they are misregulated during disease development.